Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here it is summer. We have to wake up. Nature doesn't sleep. In winter it was preparing for the summer. In summer is preparing for the winter. We are learning. You can hear the sound of water. To demonstrate we are absolute experts in what we are doing. Let's see. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay. We have drip, well, drip lines and emitters all over the place. We stopped because our punch is not doing its job. We get punched instead of the pipe. Loquat, we eat them like they are and we make chutney, a spicy chutney, wonderful, pomegranates, come on pommy, do your thing, this year we want some fruit. It was heavily pruned the last two years. Now this year is your time. The gardener is out the whole day complaining about the heat. But she says it feels like the children must get out of the house. The babies must now walk out of the greenhouse into the garden. She feels anxious, they might not be ready, but also she feels anxious, they cannot stay where they are. This is the last of the cool days, so we will get them in. It's also the last of the days with minimum temperature under 10 degrees Celsius. Get in your place and grow. Come on, grow! This is the uh, first swale I made with the excavator, but uh, as luck would have it, I was actually excavating the wall of the old canal from the Kanat. So I ended up with a lot of stones and almost no soil. So that's why I planted it in the swale and not on the berm. Anyway, Moringas and Almeth. So, this one is my very first trial. I've got the emitter dropper here and I've got the spaghetti to this tree here. And then I have a short spaghetti here to this almes and also to Moringa. So, what length is good? Size does matter. So, 
if I have a short spaghetti on it, it the water just falls back onto itself. But I want spaghetti because I want it out of the mulch that will come. If it's long, then it droops, which is good. But that is almost 60 centimeters. I still have to figure out what I want. So here the water actually just comes back to where it originates from. It doesn't drip. So anything that is more or less higher than the emitter, it just runs back on itself. Now I have chosen this most difficult spot so that I can learn the most. When we will clear this, the middle part only, and then uh, have this um, emitter drippers in place, it makes sense to stake them, but actually I want to mulch them down heavily. So that's why I do want spaghetti to not to be covered by this mulch. As I learn from this short experiment is that I must just get it about 10 centimeters and then I know the water goes back onto itself. There's all mess here. This one, the moment it droops, it drips. It doesn't run down the pipe. This is the well where the water is pumped to the tank up there and uh, I had to dig this trench here because during the rain it actually filled up, overflowed and here is the pipe that goes up so I will just move it to go this way and then I will bury it now that I know, I have a better idea of how the irrigation system will work. I am actively chopping down nettles and thistles. Actually, a lot of things are falling over by themselves without me doing anything. And uh, with the neighbor's pigs that were here last night and I used the opportunity to train my dogs what to do with them. We flattened a lot of the grass, <laughs> the local flora. So this is the cistern and with the pipe to the left and to the right, east and west. I look forward to start burying these pipes. It will give me great joy. I, I mean, first of all, it's necessary because you cannot water with this boiling hot water inside these pipes exposed to the sun. And secondly, I just don't like it. Get them in the soil and I have to do it soon while I can, while the earth is still moist. The brambles are making a comeback, but uh, I will attack them with the cutter, the wheat eater, 
and uh, then we will see it's already many many times less than before The creek is still moist, cool, actually very pleasant to be here. Our temperatures will go up, up to 30 and more, and then soon after that it will drop again. So this local flora will grow a lot, produce all their seeds. I, the dogs and I can sneeze more. All the catkins there on the cork tree. Till next time, goodbye.